Well, well, first of all, I'd like to say that I was going to invite your boss, David, here, but I realise I've only got a terabyte of memory on the camera. Well, that's fair enough. <laughs> I think that's very, very sensible indeed. So, this looks like a fantastic piece of kit. Tell me a little bit more about it, please. Right, well, this is the new Daystate Wolverine. This is the 12 foot pound Wolverine. We launched the 303 version last year, if you remember. Of course. And that's been for the export markets, really. Uh, but we always had the intention of doing a 12 foot pound version. So, 12 foot pound, we need to make it smaller, lighter, slimmer. Um, because we didn't want the big 303 gun, and this is the gun we've come up with. Fantastic. So, how long does it take you to develop uh, this particular model then? Well, it seems like a lifetime. It's, uh, <laughs> it's actually seven years, would you believe? Good we were all a lot younger then, weren't we? Yeah. We were indeed. Yeah. We were indeed. So, why the Wolverine? It started off as a project to make a lightweight airwolf, and Wolverine was the code name for you know, diminutive of wolf, Wolverine. Okay. And, but everybody has been with the project for so long that the name stuck. And actually, it's not a bad name. And it's, uh, we sell into the American market, the Wolverine's a popular hunting animal mm -hmm. there, so uh, we stayed with the name. Plus, the logo's quite catchy. Yes, so exactly. We, we stayed with that. Okay, and um, any more plans for anything else in the X-Men series? No, we are doing different versions of it. That what we've decided to do, actually, it's a good point, because um, we've noticed that the egg and inventories uh, over the last couple of years for the shops, it's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's getting harder and harder to stock. Left, right, 17720, camouflage, black, green, purple. Sure. So we decided with the Wolverine to go in a different direction. So we've been slimming down our range to make stock holding easier for people. Okay. And the Wolverine, this is the version. This is it. So you've got the, the same rifle in 22 and 177 only. Uh, the gun itself is convertible to left and right hand by the customer, so you don't need to hold the left and right hand version. And we're only doing the one stop for it. So you've got an inventory, the total range at the moment is two rifles. Okay. And I mean, it just makes it easier. And the stock itself is, is, is a particularly lovely example. Um, just, just talk me through it. The process yes, well, it's, uh, it's uh, Turkish Walnut. The, this is a pre-production sample, which is in a matte finish. We use a double uh, oil finish on the production ones similar to our Regal, so if anyone's familiar with the Day State Hunts from Regal, that has a, this will have a similar finish to that. But it's beautiful wood, we always pay a little bit extra to get the right wood from Manelli. Uh, and it contains the, day, the, the Wolverine logos underneath and on the side. But it is loosely based on our Air Ranger and Air Wolf stock. It's quite difficult with a bottle gun, you know, the old metal milk bottle. Yes, it yes. always makes the gun look forward heavy. So this stock was developed over years really to make the gun look sleek. So we stayed with this design rather than use the 303 stock, which went fat, thin, and would have gone fat again. Okay. So we stayed with this stock, and of course it is fully ambidextrous. That's fantastic. Okay. Wolverine. Brilliant. Thank <laughs> you very much indeed. Thank you.